Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to do custom logging for pipeline executions in Azure Data Factory. So what we would like to do in this case, we would like to capture some errors and write that errors into the file, or maybe we would like to log that information into some SQL or server or table. Same way, any on execution of successful pipelines, we would like to log that information as well. So. Uh, that will help us, especially in case uh, you would not, you want to know like, hey, my pipeline has been running, uh, how many had been failing? Uh, so you have one table there, there you can go and just write the query. And uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, uh, want to see like uh, how many record count this pipeline had been ro uh, loading every day, you can uh, do that. Uh, so let's uh, take a look uh, and uh, I'm going to go through some expression and everything and then you can um, uh, change and or add uh, to the login as per your need. Um, so let's uh, go to the Azure Data Factory and uh, then uh, create a pipeline and uh, log some information. Um, so we are going to go to the Azure Data Factory here, open uh, Azure Studio. And now, first of all, uh, I will be creating a pipeline. Why? Because uh, if I create a pipeline, uh, you will understand how exactly I got those different uh, log information and uh, how I figured that out. Uh, now, let me go to the author and uh, here I'm going to create a uh, pipeline uh, and uh, we can call this pipeline whatever we want to call it. Copy data. Okay. Copy data. So, PL underscore copy data. Okay. So, we, I'm going to bring a copy activity here. And uh, what it is going to do, it is going to read the data from a C Azure SQL and write to the blob storage. So first of all, I'm going to go to source here, hit the new and uh, Azure SQL and right there. And now I'm going to go to the linked service and create a new linked service. I'm going to select subscription here and I'm going to select the server name. Then I'm going to select the database name, that's Tech Brothers DB. Now I have to provide the username and password. Okay, let's test the connection. And it is successful. Let me rename this one LNKTB. Okay, so a link service for Tech Brothers. And uh, that's all we need here. And I can select the table from here. The table name is called the db.totalsail. So I would like to read the data from total sale table. And maybe I would like to write to the um, some uh, Azure Blob Storage. So let's uh, go ahead and create uh, Azure Blob Storage link service. Go to the CSV file, and uh, here, which what we are going to do, we are going to go and create a new linked service, uh, and I'm going to call this one. We can leave this one as it is, anyways. So select the subscription, select the uh, storage, and uh, test, and uh, hit create. If uh, I take the blob storage, what I have, I have a single container there that's called the output container. That's where we can create some file there. Okay, so as of now, there is no file. Now let me, uh, what we are going to do, yes, uh, we can navigate to the output container here and uh, select output and hit OK. Now first row has header, yes, it will, OK, that's fine. And now I'm going to go to the output here and uh, I'm going to provide my total sale.txt. OK, that's the name of the my file. Now, let's do multiple things. First of all, we would like to run this pipeline as uh, successful. So um, it's going to read the data and write to the blob storage. Pipeline has been completed successfully. So what I want to show you here, as the pipeline got completed, there's a lot of information this pipeline output has generated for us. Uh, and uh, that's what we would like to like uh, audit or uh, put for login. So click on the output tab here and uh, you can see right there under the output we have uh, data read, data written, files written, and then uh, we have a uh, rows read, rows copied, copied duration, and throughput, uh, and then if there was an error, that error is gonna, you're gonna see right there, okay? So you see all that information, so whatever you want to log, you can. So in my case, I will be logging probably this information for myself, okay? Now this is a, when your pipeline is executed successful. Let's fill this pipeline and let's see what other information we can log. So I'm gonna go to the source here, I'm gonna go open, and here I am going to click on edit, and sorry, let me do this one. So instead of uh, right here, see it's a drop down. So I can, I'm gonna go ahead and edit. And here I will say total sale one. This table does not exist. 
So I'm going to go back to pipeline and ex debug. So in this case, it should fail. And I would like to show you the error message and error code. That's what I would like to log. So once it's failed, I will show you. So the pipeline has been completed uh, with the failure and uh, let's go to the output. In the output, uh, there is not a whole lot that we can see error. So error code, and then we can see the message and all those details. And that's what we can log and it is very helpful. In this case, uh, it tells us like, hey, invalid object name because that table does not exist. See right there. So this information can be very helpful uh, uh, later on if you want to further debug and see like, oh, uh, my pipeline had been failing because of this error, okay? So this uh, all information can be logged. Now what we are gonna do here, we are going to, uh, let's, uh, let's correct, okay, we can start with the error output, okay? Now, uh, I have written uh, some expressions already that we can use and here you can see that. So I have written select query. So you say select, then put single quotes around it and uh, here is pipeline dot data factory and uh, this will uh, return us the name of the data factory. Then I have pipeline dot uh, pipeline. So this is gonna return me the name of the pipeline. Then I have at the rate pipeline dot run ID. So it is gonna return me run ID. For source, what I did, uh, I said total sale table. I hard coded the value, okay? Because I know my source table. For destination, I said total sale CSV file. That's also hard coded in my case, you know, and uh, then, uh, what I did here at the rate activity, copy to total sale table, right? This activity does not exist as of now. So I'm gonna copy this and actually rename my copy data activity. So then you, I, I don't have to make changes to the expression. So, so what you can do, any anything what you have here, the name, that's what you are gonna use, right? So that's the copy, that's your activity name right there. So I said, See right there, copy total sale dot output execution detail and uh, this is zero array. So dot status. Uh, so that's uh, what is gonna return me, the failure or success, whatever. And here copy output dot errors, zero array dot code. So return me code, okay? And uh, I had shown you guys in that case uh, how to see that information. So if you go to the output here and you go right there and you can all the way, so uh, see right there, you have an error code. You can uh, go all the way further down there and uh, see everything. So you can uh, use uh, that information to get ever whatever you want, okay? So I have these expressions for you. Then you have uh, copy to total sale, that output dot error, and message description. So this is the whole message I'm getting right there, okay? And then finally, UTC now, that is the error log timed, okay? So this is, a, uh, I'm gonna use right there. So I'm gonna copy here and go to the uh, my pipeline. And here I'm gonna bring in another copy data, activity, copy data activity, okay? So now this could be go on failure, right? So I'm gonna connect failure to this uh, copy data activity. So, and I can name this one, create error output file, okay? So there are multiple things you can do. Now, in my case, I'm gonna read the data and write to the CSV file. In your case, uh, you can create uh, the table, SQL table, and just in the sync uh, map to it. Um, so uh, that will be easy. So let's go to the source here. And uh, now what we are gonna do, we are gonna make a connection. This is not really running any whole lot queries or anything. So this is just uh, running our select query that we just generated uh, by using those uh, uh, variables or uh, you know all that information uh, uh, with the select query. So we don't have to do anything here. We are gonna go use the query here and in the query, we are gonna say add dynamic contents. And here I will paste that to, uh, all the expression. So it is uh, building that expression. See this is a pipeline. This is tons of other system variables. You can use it in data factory name, right? So if I click right there and uh, click on a data factory name. So you see right there, pipeline.data factory. That's exactly I use it right here on top. So this is what I used, okay? So now if you wanna do the pipeline name, group, uh, pipeline group ID, trigger name, and all those kind of things, uh, this every information, there's tons of information that you can use uh, by using these uh, system variables. Then these guys, uh, they, this came uh, 
because of the activity in MC, copy total sale, that's the activity, right? So at the rate, activity, and then uh, in the single course, you're gonna put the activity name, and then output, I already shown you, when uh, the activity execute, it has output, right? And then uh, it has uh, multiple elements uh, uh, that you can use uh, in from the JSON. Okay, this looks fine, and hit okay. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to write this information to somewhere, right? So let's go to sync. And here I'm going to go to the blob storage. And uh, you can create the SQL table and put the information there. So I'm going to go right here, use the blob storage link service. Yes, first row has header. And in the container, I can uh, go in the output, uh, maybe same folder. Output is fine. And uh, I will just hit OK and uh, hit OK. Now what I will do here, I will go to this uh, output and uh, in the file name, I can say error.txt. Okay, now every time this pipeline runs, I can actually, I can do tons of things, you know. Uh, like let's say for the pipeline name, I can use a, a different pipeline name here, build my expression and uh, you put the UTC name and all those kind of things I can do it here, you know. So first maybe I, I will be uh, creating the parameter and then using that here and then uh, for that parameter, I can write the expressions. Okay, but in, uh, in this case, let's uh, not go there. We are uh, Our goal is to write the uh, failure and success uh, outputs of our pipeline. And now, error.output is just fine. We go to the pipeline here. As our pipeline failed, it's gonna execute this copy data activity, okay? So what's gonna happen in that one, it's gonna read that all those uh, outputs that it built, and then it's gonna write to the file so let's go right here see right there so it has uh, all that information and now it's going to throw that into the uh, copy uh, on the blob storage let's go to the blob storage here and now we can refresh and we see that so this is a total sale that was uh, available last time when we executed so now this is error dot text file let's edit this file and we can see that we have azure data factory name right there pipeline name this one Run ID, this guy, source, this one, destination, this one. And then uh, if we can scroll, we have error code right there. Then we have all this detail. That's our error message all the way at the end. Uh, then we, at the end, we have time right there. Okay. So this is how you will be writing uh, this uh, output data to blob storage or maybe even uh, just create a table with the list of the column this file has and then uh, you can map to the uh, column names and write to the SQL server. So that's your choice. Now let's go back uh, and uh, work on the uh, successful part. Uh, as of now, we just uh, got the uh, error output. Uh, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring another copy activity here and connect this guy Actually, from here I can connect. And now this is going to be successful. So on the source, I'm going to go new, Azure, Azure SQL, and uh, hit OK. Now select the link service. And this is not going to use any table or anything like that. It will be using a select query that will build the, the one row output. Um, so what we are going to do here, we are going to go this expression. So if you see it right there, I have select, and then I have all those values such as factory name, pipeline name, run ID, you know, and then I have hard coded the source table name, CSV file, and then activity dot copy dot total sale dot output dot rows red. Remember when uh, the our activity completed successfully, and I showed you rows red, rows copied, and copy duration, and all that. So these are the same uh, uh, columns or values I'm using from that JSON. Uh, I'm gonna copy this uh, expression and go to the pipeline here and then paste it here. See, if I paste directly here, it doesn't really kind of solve it. So I'm gonna just remove it, add dynamic content and paste it there. Now, it should look fine. Hit okay. And now what we will do here, we are gonna go to the sync and in the sync, uh, I'm gonna write to the blob storage again. And I'm gonna give a CSV file. Yes, it has first row as a header. And then uh, what the directory I would like to use, output directory is fine. Now I'm gonna hit okay, and then uh, I'm gonna go to the open here and provide uh, the file name. In this case, I will say success.txt. Now we should be all good here. Let's uh, go to the pipeline. Let's correct uh, the name of uh, that uh, table that we may change uh, by purpose. So I'm gonna hit open 
and right here it should be total sale. Now our pipeline should not fail. It should complete uh, success. So this copy activity will be completing with success and then uh, it's gonna execute uh, this, uh, this part of it. And this is the one you guys know that this is for our success. I'm going to write say log information on success. Okay, so that part will run. And uh, this one we have already tested in case of failure, this will be executed. Our pipeline has been completed successfully and we can take a look here. So now if you guys go right there, that's the input and then that's the output. See right there, the total rows read 11, total rows copied 11 and total duration is a 2. And then is, there is some more information there. And uh, you can see this got completed successfully and then uh, we have a log information completed successfully. Let's go to the blob storage and take a look on the file. There should be a success.txt file. So hit OK here and uh, hit edit and you can see that Azure Data Factory name, pipeline name, our run ID, total sale, that's our source, total sale CSV file, that's our destination, we hard coded that part and total uh, rows read 11, total rows copied and copy duration and then finally we have time here. So this, uh, this is how the success part will be written. So what I will do, I will uh, put these uh, guys, uh, these both expression in the um, description so you can use it. And also, as I showed you guys, you can create a table in some Azure SQL uh, database and uh, then uh, map uh, the output of these copy activities uh, to the table. So for this one and this one, so two tables will be created and you can log that information to the table. So every time it will create a new record there. So thank you very much for watching and I hope uh, this video will help uh, you know uh, to create this type of login. Please go ahead and subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.